Happy Saturday, crafters. It's Luana coming to you today with a few project shares. Uh, it'll be my first project share of the year or period on YouTube. I'm new to making videos, so please bear with me as I um, show you my projects. So the first project I'm going to share is a 5.5 by 5.5 card that I created using a Sherry Baldy uh, printed image. And I am actually on two of her design teams. Um, pretty pre-colored printables and her international team. So this is the card that I've created. And as I said, it's using an image from Sherry Baldy. And I've actually done it on that team. We were a 3D team, so we would pop all of our images off the page. And um, I'm not good at coloring with my Copic markers yet. I have some, but I haven't started. So having pre-printed pages um, is really awesome for me. And for this one, I just added a bit of color um, to it. So here I use the image, which is really cute. I use some um, wooden birds, and I just used uh, some of my ink to make them darker because it was kind of a natural wood. I ran the cardstock through one of my embossing folders that kind of gave me the look of an animal print and I used my Tim Holtz um, rosette die to make those and use some brads to stick in the center of it I also die cut uh, a frame here and kind of stenciled that as well and I used a sentiment set from Tues Technique Tuesday um, with You Got This and in addition to making this card, I made a tag to go along with it. So if that person wanted to give the card and a gift as well, they could put the tag on it. And I used the same sentiment with the brads and um, the rosettes and the birds. And just tied some coordinating ribbon around the tag. I hadn't finished the back of it yet, but it's just plain. I probably missed it and put a journaling tag on there so that you can um, put a little message on there. All right, so that's my first card. The next card I've made is also with the Sherry Baldy image. And this is that card. And again, I've added color to her. And these flowers actually come on the 3D sheet that you get. And I just cut them out individually, added up some stickles to it, popped them up off the card. And these were just some... Um, white flowers that I got from Michaels. Usually when they have, you know, off season when they get rid of the stuff, I'll buy it and I buy them all white so that I can miss them the color that I want. And I just thought that went well with the image. And I just used some patterned paper and a few rhinestones on it and stamped the sentiment, thank you for being awesome, also from Technique Tuesday. My third card is also a Sherry Baldy image that I used. I did not add color to her, but I thought she was really cute, kind of um, punk rockish, I guess. I don't know what you call it, but so cute. The pink and black I love for um, little girls. So here I just added some stickles to the, um, the image itself. I added some feathers since she did have the little feather here in her um, headband. I... Um, added some hearts and arrows to it from a Sizzix die collection that I have and that same collection has that camera that you see on here and the selfie um, word I think I actually printed that from um, when I borrowed my friend's silhouette machine to see if I wanted to actually buy one which I have not done yet but I think I will um, because I like all the images that they offer and I also added a black doily and just cut it in half and some random stars and just put a little stickles on them. By the way, I am definitely a doily girl. I love doilies. And the paper I use, I want to say that's a Heidi Swap paper, but I'm not sure. So that's my third card. And one more card is also with a Sherry Baldy image. And I added color to her as well. All of her images are so cutie pie. Cutie patootie. I um, just added some bling to both sides of the card, and I added some flowers from, uh, where did I get those, Wild Orchid Crafts, and I cut out circles because there was only the three balloons on the left that were there, so I cut out just circles and embossed them and drew the, the uh, balloon lines on there. The die cuts at the top, the pink and white, um, came from a die cut set from Sizzix, and 
think that's pretty much it. I embossed the paper in the background with my stars and just added a little bit of confetti here just to kind of make it festive for oh happy day, a birthday, just because, whatever you like. Well, that's my first card share. Hope you guys liked it, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.